better to talk about the upcoming Memorial Cup than a guy who's actually hoisted the trophy, Ray Ferraro. Does that conjure up some memories there for you? Yeah, you bet it does. What a what an awesome time in your career. You, it's the most important games that you've played in your life, really, until that time. And now for most of these players, it, it'll be the biggest games they ever play. But there's also NHL scouts here. There's draft rankings on the line. This is a fantastic tournament to play in. 1983 has been a few years. Do you still remember the moment, though? I do, because it turned out, uh, as it turned out, rather, that's the only tournament we ever won. The only one <laughs> I was ever on the winning side of. Well, let's look at this year's edition because one of, one of the players that a lot of We are getting closer to puck drop for this Memorial Cup in game one here. We bring Ray Ferraro back into the fold, and boy, the scout cam should be on full display tonight, won't they? Yeah, there'll be a bunch of people wearing black jackets. That's what the scouts wear, and they'll be sitting up in the corners of the rink watching these players really closely. Now, they've got a book pretty much on every player by this point in the season, but these are critical games to watch how they'll play against the very best competition. This absolutely will help determine where a player will go in the draft. Oh, I'm sure they're playing in those bright lights. And how do you respond? And, you know, one of the other players that a lot of people have been talking about. Hi, everybody. James Sabolski along with Ray Ferraro. We're ready to go. I know you're ready to go. Let's drop the puck. Centers are lined up. Official ready to drop the puck. The Sea Dogs take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. We're still in the early stages of this period. The game is still scoreless. Bass has won it here at center. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. And he takes a shot, and he makes the save. Moves it to Lassard. Looking to set up offensively. Seattle's got a hold of it along the wall. Across the line from center. He grabs the puck here at the point. Quick feed to Bass. St. John's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Takes the feed. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. They gain the zone from the left side. Puts it on net, and that goes off, pulls off a body. The Sea Dogs take it along the wall. Gives him a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. And there's the whistle stopping the play. The Thunderbirds will serve two for slashing. Power play unit comes out for the faceoff. Their first power play of the game. The game is scoreless, and now they'll start offensive zone faceoff. Move the puck around, get it to the net. Oh, did you hear that off the 
Hard. Are we going to get a goal, man? I mean, like, it hits the crossbar and still won't go into the net. The Sea Dogs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here's a short pass to Burns. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Gives him a tap with the stick, and the referees don't like it. Seattle's got it from behind the net. In close, and they score! With the delayed penalty, everybody falls back on their heels a bit. They don't defend well, and it's in their net. Seattle's hard work in this opening period pays off. A uh, great with the anthem finish. These guys were on it. They've done a really terrific job and are well rewarded for that first goal. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. The Sea Dogs have it against the wall. And he takes the feed. On the attack along the boards. Bass jumps up. The penalty's almost over. The Sea Dogs certainly didn't get the result they wanted on that power play, giving up a shorthanded marker. Well, now they got a bigger hole to dig out of. They give up the shorthanded goal, a sloppy power play, and they pay for it. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. one nothing the score. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Philbo's got it in the defensive end. Moves the puck over to Reynolds. The Sea Dogs have it from their own end. St. John's on the attack. Takes the feed. And they send it right back to him. Fires it on net. Turned aside by Patnoad. Quick pass to McDonald. They go on the attack from the left side. The Thunderbirds gain possession along the wall. They've got numbers here. Pad save. He's on it tonight. Moves it quickly over to Bass. Standing by our own Colin Davis. He gobbles up the rebound and tucks it home. I'm pretty impressed that the shooter would even think to shoot it from there. He makes a perfect shot that the goalie's not expecting. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. Puck is dropped and play resumes. And now he moves it quickly to Roulette. Takes a shot. Stops him with a glove. Petno's going to cover up the puck here for a whistle. He makes a safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. Here in the back half of this period, Seattle's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Sea Dogs have it now. And he takes the feed. The Thunderbirds have it now. And now he tries to get it across to Bass. Into the offensive zone. Sides it out front, and that goes off a stick and off target. Petnote's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. <laughs> Seattle's won the faceoff. Great save by Petnode. here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, no! We expected it to be physical. There's an example of where this game can get to. The Sea Dogs are in transition. And now he moves it to Francis. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Nice feed from the right wing. Shot! Big time stop there. Puck grabbed by Stokowski. And that goes off a player in front. The Sea Dogs gain control of the puck against the wall. 
up along the wing. Poked away in the neutral zone by Bauer. And he takes the pass. And that pass doesn't go. Moves it to Tarash. Handles the puck. St. John's got him along the wall. Maintains possession. Quick feed to Francis. And he stopped that one. Bowers gaining momentum. There's the horn to conclude period number one, and Ray Ferraro's already off to grab his intermission hot dog. We'll be back in just a moment. And fans support you tonight's proceeds will fund a children's play room at City Hospital. A clean sheet of ice beckons, and period number two set to get underway. Sapkowski's lugging the puck. From the left side, takes it at center. Gets a glove on it to make the save. Hakano's played poorly. The forwards and defensemen have played poorly. You can wrap a bowl around this one, James. And I like this by the coach here, James. He's gone to his youngest player, the rookie, and he's reminding him to play safe at this time of the game. You got the lead. You don't necessarily need another goal. You don't need turnovers. And as I tell my kids, Razor, safety never takes a holiday. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Thunderbirds are in cruise control, leading it 3-0. Francis takes possession right off the draw. Here's a short pass to Ensigns. Ensigns plays it into the offensive zone. Seattle's got the puck along the wall. The Thunderbirds will play it from the defensive zone. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. Bass wins it in the dots. And now he angles it across to Roulette. St. John's got the puck here in the open ice. Tries to get it over to Francis. Seattle's through center and now in the offensive end. Back at the point, they set it up. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Jostling for the puck, but still maintains possession. Here's a shot, and that one's turned aside. Seattle's got it in their own zone. Here's a chance, and the save. Through center along the wing. Play is whistled dead as the puck goes up and over. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Seattle's got a 3-0 lead. They have been in control right from the start. Now a quick pass to Roulette. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And there it is, stopped by Patnode. has won the draw, they'll go to work offensively. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. Seattle's got it and they're on the attack. Petnote's gonna bounce on it and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's gonna take it. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Bass is quick on the draw. And he takes the dish. And that's off target as it hits a body. Here he is in front. Blocker save. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Scoops up the puck now. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Fires it. And he comes up with it. 
The Thunderbirds scoop it up along the boards. Sends the pass over. Takes a nice feed up through the middle now. Denies them with the pad. Works it across to Roulette. Seattle's across the blue line. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Quick pass across to Burns. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Takes it to the net. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. The Thunderbirds move the puck in the defensive zone. And offside, we'll get a reset here. More than half the frame has been played here. The Thunderbirds have dominated this one to this point. They lead it 3 0. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. The Thunderbirds take possession in the defensive end. Here we go, on man rush. Shot, big time stop. Hatano's athleticism serves him well there. Excellent stop. Sends it to the middle. Couldn't complete the pass. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. The Sea Dogs cross the blue line and are on the attack. Seattle's gained possession along the boards. The Thunderbirds take it along the wing. The Sea Dogs pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Rich shot from the slot. Oh, tremendous reflexes with the pad. What a stop by Milic. Takes a shot. Good stop by Patno. Turns another aside. Takes that pass back at the point. Seattle's got it in their own zone. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Quick pass to Roulette. Big time stop by Patnode. And that goes off a stick and off to the side. Moves it quickly over to Stokowski. Looks to pass it to Roulette. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Pat notes on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Getting into the later stages of this period, Seattle's on easy street right now. They lead it 3-0. Moves it to Bass. And that's blocked from someone in front. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Pat Nod. Wax it into the offensive zone. Seattle's got the puck along the boards and puts it over the net. He misses by a large margin right in the middle of the ice. Oh, wow, another great stop. The job's not done until the job's done. I mean, one save, not enough. Got to make another one, too. And peppered with a couple of consecutive shots. St. John's got a hold of it against the wall. Shot and too much traffic in front blocks that one. Play is called for offside. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. There's the buzzer bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more in a moment. Welcome back. James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. Trying to clear the zone. Chance to breathe for the penalty killers as they clear the puck. Up, oh, solid play. It doesn't have to be the most attractive play, but that puck has to go out. To his teammate! And no luck on that pass attempt. Now he takes it over the line. Moves it to the middle. And that's stopped. St. John's got a hold of it along the wall. Yeah, he turned and headed straight back towards the bench, James. He's, uh, he needs some treatment here. He's not doing so great. Quick feed to Lassard. 
Takes the pass. The Sea Dogs carry it along the wall. And we'll get a reset after the puck goes up and out of play. Roulette still trying to shake off the effects of this hit. He really took a thump there. Rempe's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Seattle's got the puck in the defensive end. Steps into the offensive end. Here's the pass. And that's taken by the defense. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Tries to get the puck over to Siona. Into the offensive end now. And he slides it quickly to Bass. Oh, what a stick save. Let's see what the officials are calling. He's working for better position and trying to whack the puck away at the same time, but too much, and he gets called for slashing. St. John's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, here's a chance to wash out that shorthanded goal that they gave up earlier. That's always a demoralizing thing for a team, but now you got a power play. See if you can even it up. More than half the period left to play. 3-0 is where we sit. One team really enjoying this night. The other, not so much. And that caroms off a of body in the lane. And that somehow stayed out of the net. That's a really good save. I think the goalie's probably surprised he was dead center and open to shoot that puck. Manages to hang on. And the puck skips off the boat. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. DeRoche has been looking for a way off the ice for a little bit of time on this shift. He was injured somewhere in the midst of it. He wants to get off the ice. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Bass wins the draw inside his defensive zone. Handles the pass. The Thunderbirds move it in. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. The Thunderbirds move it ahead. Nice feed. Oh, and he just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. The Thunderbirds gain possession in their own end. Puck picked up by Siona. And he'll take a step back here deep inside his own zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Cut it to the front of the net. Misses. Get it on the cage. Make the goalie do something with it. Slides the pass over to Francis. And that's deflected. And now it's over to Lassard. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. Quick whistle stops the play. While he's over at the penalty box again, maybe they can hand him a rule book. He's been over there all night. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. The Sea Dogs get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. I really like the way that these guys have killed penalties. They have been perfect tonight. Take a penalty, kill it off. They don't look phased at all. Slick feed. The Sea Dogs cross the line and gain the zone. St. John's got the puck along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Sanders. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. And they'll dump it in. The Sea Dogs gain possession. And there it is, the final horn. They say behind every good coach is a good goaltender. 
Coach has got to be feeling good about that performance. Yeah, you'll never see any coach in the Hall of Fame with a brutal goalie. It just would <laughs> never happen. From all of us here at EA Sports, my name is James Sabalski. Don't forget, the tournament continues. We will see you then. Absolutely phenomenal performance. And you to talk a little more about what we saw on the ice is Ray Ferraro and Razor. I mean, what does that do for his draft stock? Oh man, it'll uh, it'll put a rocket to it if he continues to play in this tournament like that. The scouts are going to get more and more interested. Also, a little more jittery as they might have had a player slotted in a certain area of the draft. He plays like that. He's going to jump a couple of spots in the draft for sure. This is really an important start to the tournament for him. Yeah, and this is where kind of all of a sudden the, the, the stocks kind of rise and fall here, right?